You can now see two examples. On the left-hand side, a normal IVC, which decreases in size during inspiration. On the right-hand side, we see an IVC that does not decrease in size and which is enlarged. In the right situation, you would have increased radiatorial pressures. Now, in which situations in shock would you, for example, expect a very narrow IVC? Well, if patients are hypovolemic, for example, if they're bleeding, or if they maybe have too many diuretics on board. In this situation, you will have a complete collapse of the IVC, as you can nicely see here on this example on the left. This echo is from an elderly lady who was found in her home, unconscious, simply because she was hypovolemic. She just didn't drink enough and she had diuretics on board. Now, in such situation, it's sometimes even very difficult to find the IVC. It's so narrow. But one thing that I would recommend you to do is to use color Doppler. Why? Because in this situation, it not only helps you to localize the IVC, but you will frequently see high velocity turbulent flow, as you can see right here on the right hand side. So if you see this finding, it points to hypovolemia, no matter for which cause.